So um, this is the TIG setup. I just would like to show you what um, the movement of the torch looks like when you are welding. So right now we are filming through a um, a auto darkening uh, screen, so that's why it's a little dim. But if you right here, this is the edge I'm testing on. Just testing out the welder. It's the partially built cube. So right here, I've got a ceramic block which I'd laying around to prop my wrist on. Very important, find something to rest your hand on, or your elbow, wrist, whatever. It steadies your hand and it makes it much more comfortable. So take the time to set up your workspace so that it's comfortable, easy to work in, and is not going to fatigue you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start over here. I'm going to initiate my arc wait for my puddle to form and I'm going to walk it straight across. Now the way the cube is set right now up on its corner means that this edge is now a 1F. It's a fillet. Also means that when the metal pool cools I'm going to have a beautiful flat beveled edge just like as if you hit it with a grinder. It's very nice. So that's what, why I'm doing this. It's a lay flat. It's a liquid. So it's a lay flat right in that trough fill it up and it's going to look gorgeous. Now the movement I'm going to do here is, as I take my pool, I'm going to move forward, I'm going to come back a little bit, okay? So what I'm looking for is a keyhole. It's going to become a keyhole shape where those two edges come together. You'll see the edges which are, which are closer to the arc are going to melt first. What I want to do is get them melted, then bring it back, and then move the pool forward into the keyhole to fill it up. If you just keep moving like this, walking forward, you're going to end up with an open hole behind you and you're not going to see it until you look back and go, oh crap, I got a hole there. So you move forward, back, forward, a little bit back, just like that. A little bit forward, come back, bring it into the keyhole, forward, bring it into the keyhole, forward, bring it into the keyhole. Remember, the metal closest to your tungsten melts first. That's the top edges. The bottom is going to melt last. Don't forget that. So I'm going to weld this and see if you can watch the movement. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so cover. Those of you at home, but you're already covered, and here we go. So then I'm running 75 amps, okay, with argon, about 25 cubic feet. Here we go. So it's on. I'm going to put it down with my thinner. And then there you go. Very nice. It's a very really fast movement, okay? Keeping that keyhole, moving forward, and spinning it as I go. You hear that sound, and that's the running pulse right now, about 125 pulses, and it's 30% on, okay? It gives me greater control on spinning metal. Reaching the end. Making a little spark there. If you see sparks coming off your pig well, that's a dead giveaway that you've got some contamination. You can see right there again the porosity from the nitride. This was tacked up at Goodwin a while back, so um, it's a little dirty. That's why you have the porosity in there. But if we look at the welds right now, you can see. It's dead smooth, just like I hit it with a grinder, a beautiful beveled edge, and that kind of a cabinet corner is really the ideal for TIG welding. That's what you want. What that, and that what it means is that if I do this on the inside, then on the outside, and come in on the inside with a fillet weld, this edge is now completely waterproof, gasproof, and pressure proof. It is a full penetration weld, okay? You've got weld metal on both sides of that corner, completely down to the roots. This will never ever leak. So if you're building any kind of a fuel cell, um, a water, anything that's holding water, fluids, or oil, this is how it's done, and you can ensure it's not going to leak on you. All right. So um, let's upload this and let's see what it looks like. This will be part four. Next, we're going to go off to. Next, we will move on to welding out the actual cube. There's enough of practice. I'm happy with the way it's set. Um, it's very easy to work with, so here we go for welding.